tell them they can start. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to round two of FNM tonight at Nerd Rage Gaming. I'm your host, Andrew Donnelly. With me, as always, my co-host, Matthew Robert Dow. Let's take a look at the matchup we got for round two. It's Matt Hauser on Mardu Agro versus Vladimir Kudush. It's Sultai Control. Yep, so... <clears throat> Mardu, not a deck we see very often. Unsure if it's good. Got crushed by it yesterday, but that's because I'm bad. Yeah. So, Matt Hauser not starting at a deficit of 16. That is we definitely correct. At 20. He is at 20 health. Let's get that uh, fixed. Looks like Vi on the play, and he's going to keep and pass back to Matt. So, Matt's got a lot of lands in hand for uh, aggressive deck. This kind of looks like red, white, splash, black. Yeah. So, people need to stop this and just play red, white. <laughs> just play the straight up, uh, that Alex Pressing red, white, huh? Just what about Patriot Missile? No, just play Red White. Well, okay, you don't even I like love Patriot, Patriot missile. missile. I'm a man who loves some Patriot Missile, but yeah. Red White I think is just better. Okay, interesting. So, Matt's hand pretty good. <clears throat> He's got a Realm Master, Crackling Doom, Seeker of the Way, Outpost Siege, so provided he can get this Outpost Siege to stick and not get Soul Tide Charmed, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think he's going to be in a pretty good shape against the Control deck. Definitely. Especially in good shape here that he can play a Realm, uh, I think, hopefully... He can cast uh, the Seeker of the Way mm -hmm. and uh, get in there. Uh, well, his opponent only has one black mana open, so he can't uh, kill on any end step. So, Mac and a crack, and looks like that's what he's going to do. Probably go get a Swamp here, provided he has some in his deck, and then cast his Seeker of the Way. Well, looks like he's going to go with a Mountain. So he's kind of, uh, Matt's kind of come full circle here, playing, uh, he's tried a number of different decks. I, I know he tr tried Red-White for a while, I know he tried... Uh, Jess guy for a while, but he used to play Mardu. He kind of started out Fate Reforged with a Mardu, Mardu aggro deck. Started out, yeah, he started right. out this with like playing Mono Black. Yes. And then he couldn't beat the Heroic deck. Right. Uh, so then he switched to like Mardu when he could beat the Heroic deck. And then he went to Blue Black Control. Mm -hmm. He just didn't do well with that deck. Now he's playing Mono Black and now this. So, so you think like this Mardu deck, I guess, but there's Ashiok. Uh, mills nothing. I think Matt probably just wants to play a uh, Rabble Master here. And then just start crushing. Yeah. He can kill Ashiok if he Crackling Dooms, but I wouldn't do that. I'd play a Rabble Master. Uh, pray that I don't get Drowned and Sorrowed. Vlad's got a Hero's Downfall in hand, but that might be just about the removal he has, though. I don't know if he's got anything else. Yeah, Matt's going to play a Rabble. No, looks like oh, he's going to okay, Crackling so he's going to take the Crackling Doom. I don't really like that play. I like uh, getting my Rabble Master out there. Crushing Ashiak does not concern me, but so, Matt is going to kill it. So, going to trade one for one. Interesting. But Ashiak's going to get a fog and get a get a card out of Matt's hand. So, pretty good trade. Not bad. Still think that card stinks, but it's almost at twenty dollars, and I got a quite a few of them. So, which one's that? Ashiak. Ashiak. How yeah. many you got? I got a playset. Ship so. them over to me. Yeah. Good got, I think I've got close to two playsets, but I'll take another one. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna give me Cards full value. super popular in cube, very popular. Right. Pack one, pick one a lot. The hat seems good in 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 limited. It's very yeah. strong. So let's see what Vlad's follow up here is. He does a uh, does play an island for the turn. Once again, Vlad repping some nice basics. Matt also has got some nice basics. They mm -hmm. <coughs> aren't white bordered. I'm not a huge Zendikar uh, full art fan, but I'm not really? a huge full art fan. I'm not a full art guy. The Strange. only full art land I like is the... Uh, Unhinged? Unhinged Island. That's hmm. the only one I like, too. Good land. Great land. I'm actually <clears throat> not huge on full arts myself. Uh, I'm a fan of the MPS lands, so... Yeah. I like the MPS and uh, the Asian series lands. I also like a lot. I'm a fan of beta. <laughs> beta lands are nice. They're good. I can't... I, I haven't caught onto the white border land no, thing yet. I don't... No, don't ever do that. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> so... Uh, Matt, fourth land here. Vlad just played a Sylvan Karyatid for his turn. So, I think now it actually be... So, Vlad has Disdainful Stroke. This kind of gets blown up. He can't cast Bio Blight. <clears throat> I'll probably just run out my Outpost Siege. I mean, worst case scenario, the Outpost Siege gets negated. Still triggers your prowess, so he can't block with the Karyatid? Is that the play? Yeah, now he can block with the Karyatid. Although, Wild Slash is still a card, so I wouldn't block. 
But why? What? Why are you afraid of wild slash in this situation? Uh, so like, if I attack and with my seeker and my goblin, mm -hmm. um, and I block the seeker with carried and I get wild slash. Oh, I see. I just... Why would you not just take the safe route and block the goblin? Oh yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm not blocking the seeker of the way. Yeah, that seems that seems like you're kind of just throwing it to the wolves. Uh, yeah. So that looks like he's tanking. Whether he wants to stoke the flames, lad. I think the answer to that is negative. Yeah, I agree. I'm going to attack you, sir. I feel like Matt had a few lines there. One of them probably involved casting a non-creature spell so that he could uh, uh, he could effectively see if Vlad will make unprofitable blocks against the Seeker, but he decided to run out the Rabble Master right now. This kind of leaves us open for a pretty nasty board wipe, though. Matt does yeah. have a backup, a, a backup Rabble Master in hand. A crux the fate here would be... Be pretty Crux decent. Of fate. Crux of fate. Yeah. Of fate. Be pretty decent. Well, see what Vlad has. Although Crux of fate in these like carry to decks it just yeah. feels weird. Uh, looks like he doesn't have that. He just has a single target removal spell and hero's downfall. Sure. Um, so that's gonna take care of the rabble master. But Matt has a follow up rabble master. Well, I'm not. Honestly, I'm not a fan of kind of the lines that Vlad's taken here, having to cast these instant removal spells on his his own main phase. Yeah, I wonder what the context of his hand looks like. Uh, the kind of weird playing the Karyatid that last turn uh, when he wasn't able to hold up mm -hmm. Hero's Downfall, but if he's trying to like ramp into an Ugin or something like that, then it makes a little bit more sense. Or like a Garok. Uh, something like that. God, Garok, that Apex Predator is a beast. I remember laughing at that card, saying it was almost unplayable. It like, makes beasts, too. It does make Death Touch beasts! So. Doesn't care. Second Rebel Master for Matt. It's uh, gonna, resolve. gonna resolve. So Vlad has Disdainful Stroke in his hand. That's what that blue card is. The promo Disdainful Stroke. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what Matt decides. Gonna attack in. Uh, yep. Vlad's still playing around Wild Slash. So. Gonna take three. Go to 15. So here's kind of my thing is I... I almost wish we would have played the Outpost Siege uh, way sooner. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, but we would have got a Disdainful Stroke, which would have been bad for us, uh, so... Matt, would it, though? Because yeah. that same turn, we're attacking with the Seeker, I guess? And he I can't guess. block it? I... But he didn't block it anyways, and he's True. not going to block it anyways with the one mana open. So he's going to just keep playing around the Wild Slash? Yeah. Which is completely correct. So when are we running it out? Are we hoping he board wipes at some point, and then we play it so he doesn't have mana up to counter it? Yeah, when he taps out. Sure. Uh... Or when we want to force through a better spell, which mm -hmm. I don't know if there are better spells in our deck against Flyd's deck. Yeah. Uh, so. Flyd's hand, though, not very good. Kiora, not very good right here. She's just going to die. If I mean, you can't... Paying, paying four mana for a card that's going to draw you a card and allow you to play an additional land isn't really optimal. Yeah, when you don't have any lands in hand. Yep. Yeah, she's... Not not very good right here. I think he's got another downfall, so I imagine. Nope, looks like he's gonna cure. Wow. He's gonna minus, so he does want to dig. Finds a polluted delta for the turn. He does have a temple of uh, mastery though, so he did he did find a land for the turn. So he can play an additional land. He can here. play two, so he should sequence things correctly. That is not the correct way to sequence things. Negative. Uh, but I guess he's just well, he kept it on top, so doesn't get punished. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, you should uh, fetch before you scry, as we've said nine million times now. Very true. So there's there's kind of this weird split that we've seen amongst these Sultai decks, where some have chosen to play Karyatid uh, in coarser packages, and others have not. Uh, yeah. In the Sultai deck I play, I have chosen not to play the coarser Sylvan uh, Karyatid package, as it, it just like you can see, I, I just don't think the cards do anything for you. Yeah, I'm I mean, not a fan. They're they're gonna die to your own crux of fates. It's they're they're really clunky. Yep. They they don't do a super good job of accelerating your board state. Um, it just just not a turn two play that I want. You know, I'd rather keep up uh, removal in the form of bile blight or. I'd rather play wayfinder. <laughs> uh, well, state of wayfinder is a card I do play, and I think that card is actually very good. I think that card is better than carry it in the yeah. stack. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, but but you do see that camp that plays uh, plays the Caridid and Courser still. It's a very weird deck. So, I mean, just different, I guess. Matt going to play a sixth land. He now has Stoke the Flames, Hortling Outburst, and Outpost Siege in his hand. I imagine we just move to combat here. 
and uh, send two of the goblins. Well, hmm. we're going to have three goblins. I sent all the goblins at Kiora, uh, and then the Seeker and the Rabble Master at Vlad's face. Mm -hmm. Matt's going to run out of outpost siege. It's going to get disdainful stroked, but he's at least going to get some value because Vlad kept on top with his scry, uh, and he's now going to shuffle that card. Yeah, now has to fetch it away. Which is why we fetch and then scry. Sequencing. You should write a book. Uh, I'm pretty sure there are probably books already written about that. sequencing. Do you, do By you think, people who are way better at this game than I am. Do you think Chapin's book covers sequencing? The but no, his is more deck of a deck building, building guide. So no. Mike doesn't. Flores is or somebody who writes a bunch of articles. Sure. Reed Duke wrote an article on sequencing. You should read it. You should read all of Reed Duke's articles yeah. that he writes for the Mothership. The Smart. level one articles are great. Smart man. He is a uh, he's a very smart player, and uh, uh, Noah Cohen is a huge fan of Reed Duke. Likes those big muscles. Likes the big muscles. Likes the guns, baby. <laughs> so Matt gonna go to combat now. He can uh, uh, push through a little bit more damage. And see, I think he I think that's a fair play. I think he got value there. I guess out of the disdainful stroke. So maybe you're right. Maybe we waited a turn, or maybe we don't. Uh, yeah, he's gonna now. Now there's damage. Just a this is just a slap in the face. Five. Seven, nine, ten, ten damage. Ten, right? So, four. Yeah, yeah, so he's now just dead to the stoke the flames in our hand, which seems really good. Uh, seems like we're uh, where we want to be. I'm not gonna go to twenty-four. I'm gonna go to four. So I'm pretty dead. And this is see, this is the weird thing about carry to two is like we had to use it to cast a spell, so it's not even an effective blocker in combat. Like it's not. It we're was. Cedar it saved a couple points of damage, but. Yeah. Uh, okay, sure. It stopped a goblin token or two, but like Seder Wayfinder at least stops one also, or, or I don't have to tap it. I don't know. I'm just yeah. Seder Wayfinder at least trades with things. Yes, uh, and fuels delve and like gets us a card, like a land, uh, most of the time. Yeah, it's just uh, a better card. So here we for see this type of deck. I think Vlad's gonna delve for. I'm guessing treasure cruise at this. No, point? he's gonna cast six. Oh, I'm sorry. Probably looking for a land Cruxafe here, but he doesn't know he's just dead to stoke the flames in Matt's hand. Boy, he doesn't have much to play around with here. I mean, what what really gets him out of this situation? A drown in sorrow is really good right here. <clears throat> drown in sorrow land. Drown with in sorrow. stroke in his hand. Would yeah, get him drown out of in it? sorrow. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I think that's that's what you're looking for optimally, right? Yep. Boy, that's a that's a tough dig then. Uh, Corsair doesn't do the trick. So let's see what he found. Matt's got to be pretty happy with his hand right now. Well, I mean, his Rabble Master lives three turns, so that's so typically what I want. Horser. But we're going to be drawing that land, correct? Uh, yeah, we are. Well, oh, no, not. we can play a land. Go to okay. five, but we're just dead we're, on board. We're still dead on board. And there's Papa Garuk. Uh, so, we've been, been waiting sure for Flat him. has no removal spells on his hand. Mm -hmm. He's just hoping Matt will not turn his creatures sideways and attack him. I guess he can... Nope, he's just dead. Just dead. 100% dead. Dead 100 on board. <laughs> <laughs> Unless Matt misses his Goblin Rebel Master trigger. Uh, which is unlikely. <laughs> yep. Uh, Looks like he is going to get a Goblin. <laughs> As he is reaching for the Goblin like token. he is going to send the team. Uh, here comes the big boys. I can block two of the big guys Jeez. and take uh, four. Well, I guess he could take four to go to one. That's uh, fair. Yep, he's, he's pointing that out. Not completely dead. Matt's probably just... Not completely dead. He's still got Stoke. <laughs> Depending on how Vlad blocked, like who's is the Karyatid blocking the uh, Rabble Master or the the Corsair, or is the Corsair blocking the Rabble Master? If the Karyatid is blocking the Rabble Master. Uh, so this is eight to Vlad's face. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure he's dead no matter how how is how is he gonna get out of it if he blocked any other way. Well, well so if he blocks with the Corsair. Okay. If he blocks the Corsair on the Rebel Master, uh -huh. then the Corsair on the Rebel Master trade, and I imagine that's the block he made. Okay. Uh, if he then puts the Karyatid on the Seeker of the way, mm -hmm. he has mana open for Disdainful Stroke. Oh, I see. To so counter to the hope. Stoke the Flames. Okay, interesting. So, so then it puts himself at one. Yeah, but the way he lazily blocked, uh, if he blocks the other way, then yes. Matt can just say, okay, move to damage, yep. kill your guy, and then just Stoke you uh, at, sure. at, in main face. Uh -huh. Wow. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. That's 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 a smart block, but it looked like the lazy block to me. It as, just looked as, like, hey, I'll show yeah. my creatures <laughs> yeah. in front of you guys. 
<laughs> do you have burn in your hand? Am yeah. I dead? <laughs> if you have, if you have one of the four cards off the top of my head that I can think of that kill me in this situation. Yeah, there are quite a quite a lot of cards that kill him. In that All situation. right, sideboards. Who are we starting with? You want to so, start with Matt or Vlad? Let's start with Vlad. He has right. three negates in the sideboard, two Drown and Sorrows, two Farika's Curse, two Rakshasa Death Dealers, one Nissa World Waker, two Despise, and three Crux of Fate. Uh, I imagine he's probably going to bring in the Farika's Cures, the Drown and Sorrows. Uh, I don't think I'm going to bring in all the Crux of Fates, but some number of them. Sure. Although the problem is, is like, Karyotid is good against this deck. Like, it blocks the to tokens. Sure. It sort of kind of blocks Seeker of the Way, but not really. Uh... Corsair is good against this deck. Mm -hmm. It blocks Seeker of the Way, kind of, sort of. Uh, kills an early it Rabble kill, Master. It trades with Rabble Master, yep. it, and it can actually effectively block the tokens. So, uh, I'll probably bring in some it, some number of Crux of Fate, but I don't know how many. I do like Rakshasa's Death Dealer, too. I do, it too. It blocks a Rabble Master profitably if you yes. have two mana open. Uh, Mad, I imagine, is going to take out a lot of his removal spells. So... That it still lives then, although he did see Corsair of Crufix, so he might potentially keep like lightning strikes in, just so he can like strike and After then a trade block. a token with sure a lightning strike. I do like Rakshas's strike. Death Dealer on the flip side, where if Matt doesn't come out of the gate very quickly, and uh, Vlad is able to land a Rakshasa, uh, that's a that's a clock. Like Rakshasa gets big. Yeah, it's, and it also it's... plays better defense than like oh yeah Karyatid and stuff because it can regenerate. Yep. So. I'll probably bring some of those in, too. I don't know what kind of stinkers he has. Uh, I don't know. Cura doesn't seem very good. It's no, like, not so much. It doesn't line up very well against tokens. It also doesn't line up very well against, like, two drop and a three drop. I'm surprised we don't see a Silum guard. I don't know if Vlad has one main board, but he it's interesting. Does. Oh, he has one main board? Yeah. Okay, that's, that's a little strange to me, too, because I feel like Silum guard belongs in the side as well as a Tassiger, which is... Uh, does he have a Tassiger main board He does, as well? yeah. Holy At least he did crap. last night. So, so he is... So he's essentially playing. He's essentially playing a lot of the sideboard creatures. I guess a lot of the sideboard creatures main board and a lot of the main board removal sideboard. Which yeah, he's is more of a mid range deck. deck. Okay, very so, interesting. Ma so on Matt's side, what do we have? He has two Maru charms, two Arc Lightnings and a race, two Sarkins, one Valor Stance, one Abzan Advantage, one Glare of Heresy, a Chandra, two Ash Cloud Phoenix, and two Thoughtseize. Hmm. I like Ash Cloud Phoenix, <coughs> Chandra, Sarkin, Thoughtseize for sure. Yep. Marty Charm, I'll probably bring that in, too. I think that's uh, a sweet card in this Duress, matchup. Duress, kills Corsair, yep. and you can make, like, two. one ones yeah, on the end step. Ones. Uh, yeah, probably <clears throat> not going to bring in Abzan Advantage. Didn't see any enchantments outside of Corsair, so that's not coming in. Mm -hmm. But Marty Charm, Thoughtseize, Ashcloud Phoenix, Sarkin, for sure, Chandra, yep. for sure, and then Marty Charm if I have other things to bring in. Cards I'm taking out would be like Crackling Doom, uh, probably Wild Slash. Yeah. Uh, and then like Chain to the Rocks if they're there. I mean, you're essentially bringing in anything that gives you anything that gives you card advantage, reduces your opponent's hand size, or allows you to effectively have a creature that's very hard to remove, correct? Chandra is giving us card advantage and applying damage. Ash Cloud Phoenix is a card that's hard for control decks to deal with. Yep. Thoughtseize, pretty much a staple against the majority of decks coming out of the Mardu corner. Yeah. And then just attack from different directions. Yeah. So, like, the Sweepers, Crux of Fate, Dawn and Dar Sorrow, kill your creatures, but they don't kill your Planeswalkers. That's like why that. I actually like Mardu Charm. Giving giving this deck an ability at, at like, a despised duress, and then uh, also being able to have kind of a main board uh, raise the alarm without playing raise the alarm is really cool. Yeah. It's definitely a good option. Interesting option, one we don't see very often. Uh, pretty good against a control deck, I think. I feel like we say that every time. We every, <laughs> I mean, we could go back in the archives and talk about those matches where we saw Jeskai Charm and we were like, just cast Jeskai Charm, you know. No, that card's like, not very good, right now. Well, not right. Uh, I Soltai Charm is good. So yeah, Soltai Charm is good. Teamer Charm, I think, is garbage. I don't think I've <laughs> seen Teamer Charm played a lot. I know. I'm Unless not. you're Jeff Hoogland, <laughs> and then you're slamming to me your charms, probably like left and right. But I don't even think he plays those. No. So Matt's gonna ship his hand. Vlad's gonna keep his seven. What other charms? Uh, Abzan charm. We see that a lot. That's, that's a the lot. best one. Oh, uh, it's very good. Yeah. That's the best one, and it's not close. Really? It's not close. Abzan charm is exile, draw two, yes. and pl give plus one, plus one counters yes. to your guys. Yeah, yeah, that is not good. even close. It's very good. The best. 
Soul Tide Charm. Too bad it's in Abzan colors, though. Like, yeah, yeah, black. Ugh. Black's been getting some love, man. It has. It's been getting some good. Though I, I can't say I'm not on the new Sadisi legendary creature kick that everybody is on. I, I, I think it's like that good. Card. You exploit Seder Wave. I like Seder Wave Fighter just became the best card in standard if Sadisi is good. Uh, I don't like the fact that you can only use the ability once. It's like, you cast her. Oh, I've exploited her. Okay, she never searches again. That's fine. You get a 4-6 Death Toucher and you go get a Demonic Tutor for something. Alright. Or maybe, Diabolic maybe Intent. I'm, okay, so maybe I'm spoiled then. Because I read that card and I was like, wow, I get to search for one card. You know what does that? Demonic Tutor for Black 1. Yeah, it's also not <laughs> legal in this format. Very true. <laughs> Both players leading off with tap lands here, though. Yep. It's exciting. That's exciting format stuff going on. It is in this slow format. Let's see if Vlad pops off a Thoughtseize. Is that possible here? Right. Yeah, I think those... Are those days over? I don't think they're over, but I don't... I haven't. We haven't seen any. Maybe Vlad doesn't play any. Does Matt have a... Is that He's a... Soulfire Grandmaster? Grandmaster? Jeez, I didn't even... Was that in his main deck? Uh, yeah, it's not in his sideboard, Holy so... Crap. Unless he pulled it out of his pocket and said, this curse pretty good against Vlad. <laughs> he shipped it out of the pocket, baby. It's third land for Vlad, though, this time. He's got a Soul Tide Charm. Touching. Just can take care of, uh... This Soulfire Grandmaster. Boy, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be great when we can just, uh... What's that card that, for a black one, kills a monocolored creature? What is that card called? <laughs> You're a bad man. <laughs> that card takes care of Soulfire Grandmaster. Yeah, it takes care of a lot of cards. Also favorite Hoplite. <laughs> yeah, and fit Hero over us. Oh god, it kills Laguna Pantro. <laughs> it does! <laughs> Oh, God! <laughs> oh, no! Everything's falling! Battlewise Hoplite! Yes. Live on! <laughs> right. My hope is that they print a, uh... <laughs> like, a, another... They they print a one-drop, uh, that is, like, blue-white. Yeah. In its casting cost, and then a, that has Heroic in Dragons of Karkir. Sure. And then another two-drop. A Hero of Aroas that's, uh, what if the What if the Ojutai's guy that we're waiting for is a... Is a, uh... Is a, a blue-white guy? Sign me oh, up. Oh, baby, that'd be sweet. Yes, Heroic. We can always play Daxos. No, we can't. <laughs> so there is a uh, so wait, Corling Outburst, and oh. then Matt's going to Convoke and kill the Corsair. So wow. Pretty good turn. Two spells on a turn. On turn three is pretty good. Especially when they are a removal spell and they gain three power. Yeah, really accelerating the uh, the board state there. I like that. So, Vlad, probably looking for a Drowning Sorrow here, though. That would be pretty good against Matt's board. Never bring up Ultimate Price again. Temple of Malady here for Vlad. Gonna scry and put that one on the bottom. Doesn't like what he can what he sees. Of note, he could have played a Tassiger that turn, I believe. Instead, he's just gonna pass the turn back to Matt. <clears throat> Looks like he's got a hero's downfall lined up. Fourth land for Matt. Matt has Thoughtseize. Uh, looks like he's gonna choose to take two life instead of three, and uh, Thoughtseize off his Nomad Outpost. <clears throat> so, thank you, Matt. We're gonna see, get to see what Vlad has in his hand. Looks like a Soul Tide Charm. Hero's downfall. Ooh. Okay. It's gonna downfall. Oh, jeez. Look at so, the removal. Yeah, murderous cut. Disdainful stroke. Two Soul Tide Charms. Although, don't particularly line up very well with, uh, Hordling <laughs> Oppers. Yeah. What do we take here? Um, depending on my ha the hand. Mm hmm. Man, it's a tough call. Uh, I'd probably take, like, Murderous Cut, because it's the most... If if, if my hand is, like, Rabble Master or something like that, mm -hmm. I'd take Murderous Cut, because it's the most efficient. Sure. If it's, like, if I have an Outpost Siege, I'd probably just take this Daneful Stroke. Uh, that has another Horde Lightning Opera, so I, these, none of these cards really matter. Um, maybe we just take... I take a Soul Tide Charm, then. Uh, cut down in his ability to dig and find Drown and Sorrow. Okay. And looks like that's what Matt's going to decide to do. Not a bad plan. Yeah, I mean, we're on the make a bunch of three, three, uh, make a bunch of goblins, and we don't want him to find Bile Blight or mm -hmm. uh, a Drown and Sorrow yeah. that he may have potentially sided in. Matt, though, going to be a little patient, which I think is the right call here. Vlad does, Vlad's hand isn't very good mm -hmm. uh, against these guys. No, I guess he's wow. going to just make a bunch of tokens. He wants to accelerate the the, uh, the board state. I kind of like further. being patient there, uh, especially when we're, the only other card we have in our hand is a, a land. Yeah. And Vlad draws the Bioblight just to blow us out, so... Jeez. Yeah, and this is this is why I like being patient. Yeah. 
I, I could have followed up. Like, Vlad's hand isn't very good against our 1-1s, one our 3-1-1s. One mm -hmm. So let him continue to uh, try and, like, beat the beat the board. Vlad can't yeah. beat the board with his hand. He can, but he has to use a bunch of cards to do it. And now Matt can't even count, cast the outpost. Yeah, we, he has we just got blown out even, even greater by that. Yeah. So, oh, wow. So, secret of the way. You can cast that. It's just going to die. Gonna get Soul Tide Charmed, I imagined. Oh, I don't know. Do you, do you, no, Murder Scut's gone, right? Uh, Did he? Didn't he? Dis no. Oh no, it's right there. Yep. Never mind. <laughs> uh, okay, I was about to say. I don't. If you're Vlad, you don't waste the Soul Tide Charm there. You want to use the Soul Tide Charm to draw. Yeah, draw or to blow up an Outpost Siege. One of the two. Not gonna draw another land. Boy, we back. we really should have played that slower, huh? If if you're sitting in Matt's seat, you yeah, make sure he wants that Hordling Outpost back. Yep. Soul Tide Grandmaster though. He's playing a bunch of Grizzly Bears off the top of his deck too. Never strong against the control. No, it's just gonna get pile bladed. <coughs> My bad, downfall. Sure. Light's got all the removal in his hand. Well now he does, yeah, because he's he, he's had time to just draw off the top here. See a so coarser, coarser coming. That's a pretty good one. Uh a black card on top of his deck kinda looks like a thought sees. Uh Matru has a Mardu Charm, which I guess lines up pretty well against is that Corsair. Mm -hmm. So we have Mardu Charm and Outpost Siege. He has Disdainful Stroke, Soul Tide Charm, and an Unknown. So really no good uh, no good Mardu Charm targets Mardu, here. Mardu Charm lets us take what out of our opponent's hand? Uh, we could take if he, we could take either the Disdainful Stroke uh, if he didn't have this Soul Tide Charm. So mm -hmm. that's the problem. The the card we have, Vlad has two answers to two, it. Two, yeah. So that's kind of an issue, huh? Yep. So. Boy. But I, I think that's a Thoughtseize on top of Vlad's deck, so... Uh, yeah, we're going to get Thoughtseize. Even Matt having to read uh, <laughs> Mardu yeah. Charm there. <laughs> is it a card that is not widely played? I'm probably going to, like, pass, upkeep, uh, or draw step once I see that a next card. I'm yeah. going to kill the Corsair. And then just hope that Vlad just draws a bunch of bricks. So, looks like he draws the Thoughtseize. Let's see if he reveals another black card. That looks like Tassiger. So he he's going to Mardu Charm targeting him. Uh, so he might be taking the Thoughtseize, in which case he then gets to hold on to his Outpost Siege. But this card is just never getting cast. It's definitely hard now. Hmm. I like the plan here that you stated of destroying the courser on the draw step. Give yourself a little bit more information as you see the cards being revealed off of your opponent's deck. Uh, Vlad trying to decide if he's going to let this Mardu Charm resolve. But don't know if he's got an answer necessarily to it in his hand. He can, like, Soul Tide Charm in response? Sure. I don't. I just let Matt take a card, honestly. My hand's so good. Yeah, I don't know if necessarily drawing is the correct answer here, because you're just allowing Matt to have an additional... Right? Is that... So now he's got more options in his hand for Matt to look at? He, he does. There's Freakus here on top. Oh, so he geez. has Thoughtseize, Tassiger, Disdainful Stroke. Yeah. Okay, so like... Uh, now we can take... Well, now you can take Disdainful Stroke and play the... No, he's just going to thought oh, no, us. He can't. Yeah. Although there's the potential that Vlad instead just plays Tassiger. So maybe we take Disdain. Uh, yeah, I take I take Thoughtseize. Mm -hmm. So like my plan is, I unless I can take Tassiger. If I can take Tassiger, I'm taking that card. If I can't, yeah. I'm taking Thoughtseize. And then Vlad's going to play Tassiger this turn. And then I can resolve my outpost siege around the Disdainful Stroke. Jeez. And hope to get there. And hope I have Chain to the Rocks in my deck still. That is super deep. Oh, I hit flat it. Oh, man, I didn't know he could delve that many cards. I thought he had a fetch. Uh, and he couldn't well, just... He does now. So, yeah, now we can't even... Now we can't even do that. Can't we're even bad play around to Sandful Stroke. Yeah, we're pretty dead. Huh. Very interesting. We need an end hostilities. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, wait, it gets to Sandful Stroke. Uh, we need Thoughtseize end hostilities. Thoughtseize end hostilities? Is that our way out here? Looks like Flag correctly left Sultai Charm. He's gonna fetch though. 
What is he fetching for? I don't know. Sign me up. If he taps out, I'm I'm game. So he's gonna get in for two. Yeah. Yeah. He does. He has Freakus here. I think on top of his deck. I don't think we want to fetch that away. I think that's a card we would like to draw. Yeah. I take that card over a random card in my deck. Well, I th I think it's definitely a card you want to draw. A card you want to hold and then hopefully get back with Tasker at some point, as its recurring value is very good. So Matros Stoke the Flames. Doesn't really line up very well against Tassiger. Could potentially kill this Courser. Uh, or could potentially bait out the Disdainful Stroke in Vlad's hand. I like that plan. Just a good pl I think a good plan, because Outpost Siege is the only way we're going to win this game. So it looks like Matt is going to uh, Stoke. Uh, I don't like playing it now, though. Uh, me neither. I like upkeeping it. Draws, yeah, you're right. Unfortunately, I still think that's the way to play, just so you get that additional information from your opponent. Uh, yeah, I like I like draw stepping it on the court if we're targeting the courser, but I just like upkeeping spells like that anyways because mm -hmm. get your opponent to use their mana on, on their, their turn, turn, correct? Instead of on your turn. Also, we can't now play. There's no. We're not using our mana. There's nothing that's happening now. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there's there's no reason that we didn't upkeep that spell. Yeah. But it's a kind of sometimes a difficult thing for people to to learn. Interesting. I, I I think we're in a bad spot, unfortunately. Yeah, especially because Vlad just let that guy die and didn't disdainful stroke. So he is being wise to keep that up. Nose Courser really doesn't matter. The Tassiger and then this disdainful stroke to get around like uh, Storm Breaths or Outpost Sieges. Or a Sarkin. If, if a Sarkin makes an appearance, that's yeah. smart for Vlad to hold up that counter spell. A 4 5, though, is pretty difficult for Matt to kill. I doubt he has Crackling Doom left in his deck. Yeah. So. He's going to fetch. You know, it would be a sweet one. Hmm. Empty the pits. That would be a sweet Unfortunately, he has Bioblight. <laughs> yeah, there's there's been a lot of rumors going around about Empty the pits making a comeback uh, in certain decks, especially if you're playing like a Sido variant deck where it's that mono black. Uh, because it's so easy for people to remove your creatures. If they, if you have like a game finisher like that, even as a two of and you draw into it late game, the card is very powerful. You say come back as though the card ever was around? Uh, it was around slightly at some point in time. Uh, I do believe Agent Orange is correct. That really? I never did discard a card. Uh, we will have to go back and review when we have the chance. Yeah, we'll have to get a hold of somebody. I don't think it's going to matter. Matt's pretty dead. Yeah, he's not in a good spot so. here. Was that an attack we just saw? No, it's an attack. Yep. Matt dropping out at 10 as this Tasker is currently crashing in through the red zone. Yeah, Matt's pretty dead here. And draws another Mardu charm. I cast that just so I get some information. Uh, He's going to try to choose to run out the outpost siege here instead. Uh, that's Mardu charm. Sure. Well, I upkeep Mardu charm or draw step Mardu charm again. Going down to nine on this one. So take Ooh, the same boy. You can finally uh, cast yep. this outpost siege. There you Unfortunately, go. we're dead in two turns. Three oh, turns. Man. There's Outpost Siege. Let's choose the mode to draw. It is one. That is the mode. We are choosing cons. Uh, gonna activate Tasker's ability. We see Heroes Downfall Island. Well, now I give him the disabled stroke back. <laughs> <laughs> or Negate. Negate seems like dookie against me. Yeah. Negate, I, I would probably hand over as well. Interesting. So this match kind of took a, a very odd turn. I There's that Bioblade that two for one does. Yeah, that blew us out off the double hoardling outburst. Yeah. It's definitely a uh, bash for four. Put him to five. Jeez. Let's see what Matt can rip off this uh, Sapo Siege here. It's got to be something good. It does have to be something good. It is a murderous, murderous cut. cut. All right, it's not bad. It's doing something. We don't know the other. What did what did he end up giving him now? Now I don't want to give him the negate yeah. or the uh, or the disdainful stroke. Uh, so we're gonna try to fire it off. 
Uh, I made any game. <laughs> Interesting. So he's going to... Activate Tasker. Yeah. All right, dude, you can have, like, a... <laughs> uh, not a negator at a same Yeah, I don't know what else is there to, downfall. Uh, to potentially give him, but... Probably just well, give him downfall. But what happens if we drew a dragon, too? We don't know what the card yeah, in Matt's hand is. What is it? Uh, oh! It's an Ash Cloud Phoenix! That's not bad. It's pretty good. Yeah. We're doing it. We're not doing it. We're Are we not doing it? I mean, we're kind of. closer to doing it. We're getting We there. two for one, Vlad. Even though he, he's been, like, drawing multiple cards off Tasker. I mean, he drew a lot of... First of all, he drew a lot of cards off Tasker, and he drew a lot of cards naturally. <laughs> so. Yeah, you do You do draw cards every turn. Uh, well, it's I'm part just... Of the game of Magic. Oh, he also, oh, he also okay. did uh, cast right. Soul Tide Charm as Divination, instant speed divination. Yes, that is true. No downside there. Unfortunately, I think we're too late to go back on that one. A little bit. We've yeah. kind of passed the mark. So what does he have now here? Drown and Sorrow. It's a Drown and Sorrow. Yeah, oh, alright. Oh. Phoenix is flipped. Scribe, bud. Go for it, man. I got a 2 2, baby. That's going to get blocked by the carry. <laughs> what you going to do? Yeah, but we can flip it up and put ourselves to 3. Oh, oh it's Bio down. Boy. Cool. <laughs> 2 for 1. To... Now we're doing it. We're getting there. We're draining the cards. He's only he's only got three left. We're Here drawing we two a turn. Rip something good. Boom! Another yeah. Ash Cloud Phoenix. All How right. does it feel? Another two for one. Is this gonna be, is this the comeback of the century right here? It could be. I like it. I love it. Phoenix is macawing right into play. That thing does not have haste. No, dude. Wow. It would be well, pretty stupid yeah. good if it had haste. Well, Downfall. <laughs> Fine, man. But it's dying. You got it. It's it doesn't matter. Well, it's, two, it's two for one in Vlad, and we're getting two I, cards I, a turn. I just can't even believe how much. Like, it just does. It just dies. What does it do? Stop. Bio boy. Stop Boom. Casting. Sign me up. I love it. Oh, oh man. Oh, He's got to stop. Flip another one. Oh, we don't have another one. No, oh, Sarkin. Sarkin. Just oh, all the gas. God. Thought sees him. Stop it. Boom. Get thought Why sees. Take a downfall. Seizing? Yeah, we got yeah, him. No way. <laughs> oh, man. Outpost Siege is a good card. A comeback of the century off Outpost Siege. Here we go. Mako is a three. Casts a Sarkin. Pluses the Sarkin. Four attacks ya. for four. Vlad is on a three turn clock. This is it. He's got a land in I hand. I can't believe he this. He needs to draw some gas. This is nuts. Garuk. Slam it. Garuk would be pretty nuts. Wham and slam that bad. going to ship it back. Trigger. Boom. Oh, Land. Doesn't matter. Blank. We're drawn. Land again. We have another outpost siege yeah, in hand, Yeah, we're totally though. slamming that. Yeah, we are. Consonant. Co yeah, consonant. Yes. Pash, put you to eight. What if you're Matt here, and you just form of the dragon yourself? You don't even go for the damage. You're just like, I'm going to go card crazy. <laughs> there we go. Another cons. So, Vlad, he's an out. Ah, oh, draws another land. Oh, man. No Pash way. Pash back. Double Look cons. At Housler's going nuts. Boom. Boom. Land. Boom. Ugh. Rip it. Oh. Was that another? Oh, no, no. It's a, like, Valorous stance? Yeah. I'm gonna scry. Oh, we really need a dragon. Slam it. Sir. Form, can he, when can he form the dragon off Sarkin? Boom. Seven? Seven, yeah. This, don't, don't kill him. The floor. Don't well, kill him. I mean... I, I want the form. I imagine he's gonna kill him. I want the form can, of the dragon. Can. <laughs> so, Vlad... You're getting so many cards, Matt. Think of the cards. Just draws Jeez, running wow. lands. Jeez, that game was insane. Matt the Ghost Housler coming back from the dead, baby. <laughs> that was awesome. That was insane. So what do we like? <laughs> what do we like about Matt's play in getting blown out after double Hordling outburst? Getting just pushed back into a corner. I like that Matt never gave up. That's what I you would have like. given up. Uh, you would have. <laughs> <laughs> How mad would you have been? I wouldn't have been mad. I would have just like said, "All right, well, let's go to game two. We only have eight minutes left." That's uh, impressive. But yeah, I'm, I'm he managed that. to beat instant speed divination. Yes, uh, which isn't in this format. Correct. Vlad did not discard a card off Soul Tide. He Charm. did not. Uh, he he managed to beat getting blown out yep. by uh, Bile Blight, and he also managed to beat Tasker activating multiple times. Yeah, and getting multiple three cards. times, but. I think Vlad might have been incorrect to continue just to kill the the phoenixes. Phoenix. He was wasting so many spells. Like you can get Matt to like, uh, like one year guy blocks. Yeah. The phoenix. The two twos. Yep. Um. So I guess it only blocks it. No. So Matt like 
It blocks. Matt yeah. goes to unmorph it to try to kill your guy. You just yes. kill it then. Yeah. And you just keep doing that on repeat. Matt can only do that so many times. You can only do it twice because it's killing him. Correct, yes. Yeah. Because the Ash Guy Phoenix is doing two damage to yeah. everybody every time. But Matt is at the lower life total. Oh, man. So I don't think it's correct to just kind of like spam removal spells into the Ash Cloud Phoenix I, I, when it's a 2-2. A 100% agree. 100% agree but with you. That game was insane. It was. It was pretty nutty. It was an entertaining game. So we're going to be moving on to round three of five here for FNM and Nerd Rage Gaming uh, very shortly. I'd just like to let you guys know we have the Dragons of Tarkir pre release coming up uh, March 21st, March 22nd. Uh, March 21st being the. The Friday uh, into Saturday, so you have the midnight event. You've also got a 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. Uh, those are going to be your awesome pre-release dates. And then on Sunday, we have a 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. pre-release as well. Uh, You're moving them to 2 p.m.? They're moving to 2 p.m., baby. What's up with that? That's nice. It's uh, 2 p.m. is a little bit nicer because people, you know, Monday, you play in that midnight, or you go from Friday to Saturday, you play in that midnight, you don't want to be up at 1 p.m. going in there. You want to be up at 2 p.m. having a little no, sleep I don't, and special. No, I don't want to be up <laughs> Well, you don't go to the midnight. The midnight's not for you. That's for the younger younger folk. Uh, yeah. On top of that, we also have the sweet VIP packages available, uh, which is entry into all five events, and in addition, you get a free VIP uh, Nerd Rage Gaming playmat uh, designed by uh, one of our artists, Kimberly, who uh, designed our first one. Turned out amazing. Only 16, I think, of those. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It was 16 the first time. We have 20 VIP packages available. So that was the, that's all on NerdRageGaming.com right now. You can go sign up for your uh, your pre-release. Jeez, 20 VIPs. 20 VIPs. That's 100 kits. That is 100 kits. You get entry into all five events with the VIP package. Man. That's a lot of magic. That's a lot of magic. <laughs> it's a lot so, of value. I can't and, believe it's at 2 p.m. now, and I'm not, never going to be able to do anything you can on make March it. 21st after the pre-release. It's going to be you 9 o'clock. You'll get, you can play this.